got a nice build for you today all around triple fusions yes you heard it right triple fusions two fusions and a linear uh, and the new warlock boots rain of fire so basically what they do is whenever you do your air dodge you recover a dash it reloads all of your weapons and improves the airborne effectiveness of your fusion rifles and linear fusion rifles and then the final blows with these weapons make you radiant which is a 25 percent damage buff Provides a, modern, a moderate benefit to the airborne effectiveness stat of fusion rifles and linear fusion rifles. So it reloads every weapon that you've got on you uh, at the time. It doesn't have to be fusion or linear fusion. It'll reload anything. And also it's giving you a nice damage buff every time you get a kill with the fusion rifle that you've got. Uh, I'm basing it around deliverance. Absolutely insane. Fusion rifle, this is from the raid. I crafted it. I got demolitionist enhanced and enhanced successful warm up with this build. That is absolutely fantastic. Vex Miffer class, the way I've got this build set up, it look, feels like it's giving it an extra perk. Vex Miffer class could be back with this build. It's absolutely fantastic. Cataclysmic with box breathing. I'm really enjoying this at the moment. And then the linear from the new dungeon storm chaser. All sorts of these. All suits this weapons down to a T. So quickly, just before we get into the clips, the two mods that I'm basing it around, as well as diffusion rifles, is rays of precision. Whenever I'm radiant, which you can become radiant all the time with the new boots, just by getting kills with your fusion rifle, I'm always going to be radiant. Solar precision final blows cause my combatants to ignite, cause massive nukes everywhere. And then I'm also stacking solar fulmination with that. So all my ignitions do increased damage in an increased radius. I'm going to show you some clips now of the sort of base build, how it's working. Let me know what you, you think. So Deliverance is the first sort of clips. The Enhanced Demolitionist is going to enable you to get your grenades back so fast it's unreal. Uh, keep an eye out on them grenades. And I'm also getting Radiant as well on that bottom left. You'll see my Radiant. That's a 27% damage buff. That's the Rain of Fire Exotic Boots coming into play. So the successful warm-up and the Demolitionist Enhanced version is giving you crazy damage and crazy grenade back as well. Vex Miffer Cluster is another one that suits. Uh, either way, you can charge it up or you can just use it normally. And with the solar fulmination and the rays of precision, and I'm also becoming radiant, you're going to get loads of extra damage on your Vex Miffer class along with all the other perks it's already got, as you can see there. It's a 1590 uh, Nightfall, and this is just a sort of showcasing how the explosions are really helping you in the game. Uh, just clearing out ads for days, like big groups of enemies, and again, you can also use that as a linear. Cataclysmic is another one it suits, a solar precision kill while I'm radiant, that's the rays of precision, also again causing massive nukes and I'm going to switch back to my Vex in a moment and finish him off because I've got my radiant buff there so it's putting out extra damage. Uh, now this is sort of everything working together in these few clips here now, my Vex is going to be creating the little explosions and then whenever I need my grenade I'm going to switch to my deliverance fusion rifle to get my grenades back and the other thing with this build is what it's really really good for as well fusion grenades like that bang look at that how much explosions it makes fusion grenades absolutely fantastic with the solar fulmination where my ignition is doing increased damage so all in all it's absolutely brilliant build i've been running it for a good few days i ran it for the first couple of nights when i got the boots last week and i've just sort of been testing the builds what's really best with it and i think this is sort of like the best setup having the primary fusion deliverance i think you can get another one from the crucible at the moment is it a riptide i think you can use that as well that'd be ideal so and then running something like a vex miffer class in the secondary sort of column as again that tech primary ammo so you're not having to worry about special ammo and then obviously your linear is heavy so again this is just clips of everything working together the fusion grenade that you're getting the extra damage on and getting a radiant buff clearing out loads of enemies with my vex miffer class and you're creating, uh, creating loads of damage with your fusion grenades as well getting your grenades back whenever you want from deliverance so it's really good and then just as a off topic as you see there i'm running 
Storm Chaser, which is an arc fusion, a uh, linear fusion from the new dungeon. This thing absolutely schmelts when you've got your radiant buff going. For example, just here, I think I'm in like 50k shots almost with this particular roll with Frenzy on it. So you don't always have to stick to solar weapons, you can mix it up. I'd recommend sticking with Vex in your middle column and your secondary gun because just of the how easy it is to get your solar fulmination and rays of precision going all the time and to keep your radiant buff going all the time. Vex Mother class already has like a rampage buff on it. The radiant that you get from the rain of fire is just enhancing that. So all in all, it's an absolutely solid build. You'll have fun with it. Triple fusions, solar warlock, solar 3.0. Plenty of grenades, plenty of damage, absolutely crazy, I absolutely love it, so I'm going to leave this clip playing out and then I'll show you the full build, I'm also running some elemental wells, uh, I'm running certain solar fragments as well to enhance the scorch and the explosions, uh, spreading the scorch also, stay tuned and I'll show you the full build after this clip. So this is now the full build, as always, uh, I run certain fragments and certain aspects, I like to explain them, if you don't want to listen to that, that is totally cool, I will leave a dim link in the comments so you can just go ahead and skip this bit if you don't want to listen to, to, to my trap going on, but I have it set up a specific way for specific reasons. Aspects, uh, I'm running Touch of Flame, basically what that does is improving our fusion grenade by a large amount which is also working with solar fulmination so ignition is doing increased damage and ignitions that you would do from your grenades in particular i'm going to be running the fusion grenade it's going to cause some serious damage icarus dash so whenever you're in the air just do uh, your button whatever you, is you press to dodge which is also going to get the best out of your rain of fire as we've already gone over that's going to reload anything that you've got on you whether it's equipped or stirred it's going to reload everything i'm also running obviously the fusion grenade incinerator snap because i just love love the finger click the i love it i think it's great uh healing rift you can run in powering if you like or the phoenix dive that really doesn't make no odds uh, anything you want my fragments I'm running is Ember of Char, so all them solar ignitions that you've seen, they're going to spread Scorch to affected targets. Again, they all work nicely with these two here, Solar Fulmination and Rays of Precision, all work very nicely together. So Ember of Char, Ember of Solace, Radiant and Restoration effects applied to you have an increased duration. So because you're getting Radiant all the time from the boots and your fusion kills, you're just going to be able to make that last a little bit longer than it would normally and your solar ignitions from ember of eruption have an increased area of effect which again all works perfectly with the two mods solar fulmination res of precision and the last one is ember of empyrean all the solar weapon or ability final blows that you get will extend the restoration and radiant radiant effects applied to you so whenever you gain radiant you're going to be able to extend that basically forever as long as you keep getting kills with solar weapons or solar abilities so you can just keep going on and on and on. The mods that I'm running, again, Solar Fulmination, Rays of Precision, Explosive Wellmaker, because it makes sense, because you're exploding everything, so every time you're going to get an explosion, you're going to create a Solar Elemental Well. I'm also running a Bountiful Wells, because that'll double up the amount of wells that I'm getting, so you're going to create two wells every time you get an explosion. Elemental Ordinance, Again, just because I'm using fusion grenades and that works really nicely with explosive and the bountifuls because it literally creates loads of orbs. Uh, wells working together perfectly. Uh, so elemental ordinance and I'm also running a font of might for the extra 25% damage whenever I pick up a well which does stack with radium by the way so you can get some massive damage. Uh, increases with a build. I hope you found it interesting. Check the comments for a dim link. Take it easy.